Let's talk about the old world. Way back then, 1850, and before he claims the story is questionable at best. So many unanswered questions, especially energetically speaking. You needed energy for those massive projects. The Empire State Building, built in a year. Think of your favorite government buildings. They had this eight-year phenomenon. Eight years of construction, like countless ancient structures. Unrealistic timelines. Impossible timelines. And always slaves, prisoners, forced labor. Perfectly capable of building these Romanesque marbles. Granite and stone wonders. Easy as pie, they say. But how the hell do you think that was possible? Not even remotely how it could have been done. Back when horses and donkeys were the main mode of transport. Which corporation built it? The Horse and Donkey Corporation, of course. I mean, it was a sarcastic job, but the absurdity. Easy peasy for them back then. Everyone a perfect builder like today. How come they all look the same across the planet? These old buildings, they share a striking resemblance. They call them ancient different dates in history. But the stories of their construction are how can I trust the dates they give us when they feed us these unbelievable narratives? People just swallow them whole like nothing. On one hand, churches built in 500 years. On the other, similar work done in a few. Who's right? Who's wrong? 500 years of nonsense. No one sustains a project like that across generations and gets a seamless result. How do people believe these tales about the past? Limited resources, energy derived solely from human effort. The most expensive power imaginable feeding housing people. It's like most live paycheck to paycheck. So what's the difference between slavery then and now? This is modern slavery trapped in a cycle of wages. Back in my day, it was, I won't forget the next one, real slaves versus designed slaves. There's no distinction. Systemic slavery within the construct we inhabit race and system. Slavery